guys i hope everyone is doing good so i came across this article that apparently has created an international incident let me first start by saying something i know a lot of people that watch me also watch florida my keys channel and i'm gonna be honest with you his last few videos i was thinking he was a little bit like maybe Maybe that cold he had was getting to him. I'm like, what is he even talking about? He's going on and on about how during SHTF and if something happens, people are going to be hyper-focused on being the morality police and, you know, sexual situations, all of these things. That's going to be like the thing that breaks up groups and all of this stuff. And I'm just like... Come on, like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm being honest with you. That's, I was like, really, really? Well, just two days ago, there was a whole international incident that occurred over an affair from two adults. Now, what happened? Well, um, every year in Israel, there's um, a lot of the high school students go on, or middle school, I'm not really sure, whatever they call it there, they go on a trip to Poland to the Holocaust Museums. And seemingly, a mother of one of the children and a father of the other child got into this affair. They start, they start an affair on this field trip, right? But it gets even crazier. Because that's like, okay, they went on a week-long trip. I mean, that happens. Why is this an international incident? Like, it really is shocking how how this is an... So they're like essentially stopping all field trips to this Holocaust Museum. They're, all of this. But you've got to listen. I'm going to leave the link to this, this article because I'm not going to read through it. But, um... The thing is, so they go on and the wife of the husband that cheated uh, is blaming it on the teacher for what? Not being the morality police. Not being the fornication police of adults. <laughs> now I'm not going to say that Florida McKee is some kind of prophet. <laughs> Or something, but this is very odd. I mean, this, I'm just like, this really happened. This actually happens when people, in two scenarios, from what I understand. When you have so much money and so much free time on your hands, and also whenever you're in like a, a situation like an SHTF scenario where it's like you want to control everything. Um, I'm not saying affairs. Affairs happen anytime. I'm saying when people just start this uh, busybodying and, and stuff. And you can actually see a lot of these things happening. Um, a lot of these fornication police and, and stuff like that. But it's not even just about that. It's, it's the fact that um, I came across a what are these called a poll a gallup poll about what is morally acceptable and what is unacceptable and they they grouped it into democrats independents and republicans and this is shocking it is truly shocking so it goes through gay and lesbian relationships abortion the death penalty embryonic stem cells um having sex outside of marriage, having babies outside of marriage, divorce, this, this, that it goes on at suicide, this and that, okay? Uh, I'll put it on here. You can see it, okay? The, the most shocking thing is, you know what everyone agrees with that is morally acceptable or unacceptable? Extramarital affairs. 7%, 7%, and 3% are more focused on an extramarital affair that is something that, I'm not 
saying they're okay. I'm saying that is something that does happen and it's like you can forgive that. People are more concerned with that than they are with abortion. On in every category, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, by a large margin. 26% of Republicans think abortion is acceptable. 51%, this was taken back in 2016. I'm sure things have changed a little bit, but but for this uh, situation, I wanna point this out. 39% of independents. But, but this is the same throughout the entire thing to where people are kinda like a 50-50 or a 75-25, but yet whenever it comes to an extramarital affair, that's where people want to draw the line. Like, that's your, your line. It's just something so insane to me. Because, um, I mean, like Florida has been saying in many of his videos, he's like, there are a lot of people that just have that unwritten rule. And who is it for us to say that, hey, you know, like, some people go on work, trips that last a few months and it's like that whatever that's none of our business but the overarching thing that we see here is that that's where people seem to that's how we know that morality has been created by man whenever we have such a stark contrast of what is acceptable like that i mean that is just something that will not be tolerated in society if you if you just like get drunk one night do something dumb that's where they're drawing the line not abortion not not um doctor assisted suicide not not even divorce not even divorce um uh, not homosexuality not the death penalty no no None of these things. Look, the death penalty. 52% of Democrats, 66% of Independents, 76% of Republicans say that's okay. Which, that's fine. My point is, look at how, how stark the contrast is. Like, this is how you know, <laughs> this is how you know that men, Hollywood, the tabloids, mainstream media, have curated what is morally acceptable and what is not. Because, I mean, it, it's, it's truly hard to, to explain because, I mean, just, like, be honest. Like, abortion is something you can't bring back. Like, that's not something you can, like, oh, my bad. My bad. I mean, yeah, you could be forgiven from, you know, a Christian aspect. My point is, like, that's not something you can just, okay, let's work through that. Like, I mean, there, there's more people that, that, um, that are okay with, I, I'm not going to go through all of these, but, but things that are just like, things that would have been morally, um, just like, forbidden you know just the morality in the middle ages is just like completely a stark contrast to this and that's how we know morality has been created um curated but why why is that why is that because th this this might be just me like spitballing but shame they can use an affair to ruin a politician's career. They can use it, uh, people will hang that over someone's head and say, I'm gonna tell your wife if you don't, you know, extort money, extort all of these things. That that has been the, what is it? The uh, sword of Damocles that has been used. That, it's just bizarre to me. Like, I mean, an affair is something that, like, just really, it can be, like, worked through. But you can tell that that is, that is something. And again, there's people that have open relationships or whatever the case may be. But that is something that you can tell by just the numbers and, and the reactions that people have. 
that is going to be something that people are going to be like policing. Not not just the marital affair aspect, but everything that Florida Marquis has been saying is completely right. Like that seems to to have like you know the highest worth in in our everyday values. It's bizarre. It really is bizarre. But um, I actually wanted to go through a few other things about this um, this Holocaust field trip situation and but I think I'm going to do it in a different video so this video doesn't get too long but it's not just about the holocaust uh field trips I just kind of want to throw out a question right now because I've been going through a lot of um diaries from the Victorian age and and how people lived in the 1800s and how horrific life was and how they sent so many children small children to come work on uh in industry and in farms and in farms you know i really am not i don't have a problem with kids working on farms especially when the parents own the farm like that i actually i absolutely agree with but when you look at the hundreds of thousands of irish children and english children um all these children that were sent here in the 1800s meanwhile we were uh, abolishing slavery um but this went up to, you know, this was happening up until like the 1960s. The, all of these, the child labor and just how people lived and how, how bad it was, how nobody really cared. Like that wasn't, it was just like whatever. Yeah, a kid died in a coal mine, blah, blah, blah. My point is, I wonder how, is it truly damaging to a society to remind them of particular atrocities and I'm not saying not to teach it I believe I wholeheartedly believe that we should teach about slavery and the Holocaust and the uh, Holodormer Holodomor and all of these things but I want you to think about something why why don't we teach about the Irish children that were sent here or the three quarters of people um, that came to America were dirt poor, dirt poor. I'm talking like had nothing except what they were wearing on their backs. And like they had to live hand to mouth every day. That's how it was in Victorian England. That's how it was. Um, we never, it's never talked about. And, but with like things like the Holocaust, that's talked about every day. Like, I, I know this might seem extreme, but I I really do see something about the Holocaust almost daily. And I and slavery. Both of those things we hear about daily. Unless you're looking for any of the other situations, you'll never just randomly see it. You'll never, never, never see about the atrocities that occurred with, um, you know, people in, in Victorian England or... You know the crop shares in in the south you'll never hear about these things unless you're you know actively looking for them and so again my question that i want to look at in my next video is is it truly detrimental to a society like black people in america to keep telling them that that they're victims that their ancestors were victims, that makes them victims. Because I don't feel like a victim, even though I know my ancestors were practically ethnically cleansed by the British in um, Canada. You know, I've talked about the Acadian expulsion that most people don't know about. M most of these things people don't know about. Is there a reason for that? The same thing with the Holocaust. Is there a reason that they talk about it daily? Is, it, is there a point at which it's dangerous and detrimental to tell people this happened, this happened, don't forget it, don't forget it, don't forget it, don't forget it? I, I would posit that it absolutely is. And if there ever was like a systemic racism issue, I would say that that would be where it would start. Um, because that's what, um, especially these days, that's what a lot of African Americans especially are told every day. Is that they're, 
we're victims and that means they're going to they're a victim right now even though they might be a celebrity and then on the reverse side you are telling white children that they they have all the privilege in the world with and never telling anyone about all of the atrocities that occurred with their ancestors is there a medium situation okay i don't want to go into all this but i mean that kind of goes with all the morality and all of these things like at what point do you just say life was hard back then there was things that were done that were terrible um you know and should we really be going on a field trip every single year <laughs> and talking about this every single day um or should we be looking to the future and not you know i don't know anyway again this is a, created a, an international incident because apparently now poland is not wanting people to come because they've made such a huge deal like this has made a huge like national incident in israel but then an international incident to where like this is these are nobodies these aren't even celebrities they're just parents out of school like that's how intense this is i don't know i just had to do this video because i i really in my mind i was like is eh, what if i keep kind of going overboard on this whole situation Apparently not. Just two normal everyday parents are being blasted <laughs> for a mistake that they made. Um, it, it is bizarre. It truly is bizarre. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful week, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys. Oh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to help support my channel, the links will be down below because, you know, my channel is completely demonetized and shadow banned, so you can share it too if you would like. Bye, guys.